Mike, and to move up in weight class, up to 205 pounds, Cody Donovan of Greg Jackson's camp, well-rounded fight against Joe Stripling of Newark, Delaware, of 302 BJJ. Good Muay Thai background as well, though. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting fight. Both of these guys are undefeated. Cody 4-0. I think Joe's 3-0. Uh, Joe has a win over John Murphy as well, who's a, a well-known heavyweight, fought on Bully Beatdown a couple times, fought in strike force as well. Uh, John, i got to ask the obvious. Most of these guys are ripped to shreds. Guy in the red, it's a little uh, a little soft. Yeah, -wise. yeah. I mean, he obviously doesn't have Cody's physique. Here we are working into the clinch. You can never judge a book by its cover, though. You look at Fedora Emelianenko, Absolutely. Josh Barnett, Tim Sylvia. These guys have all proved that uh, you don't have to look like Cody to be a to be a good fighter. No, it's not a beauty contest. Always kind of conditioning comes to mind when you see that. Yeah, just for one sure. going to play for sure. All right, now Cody secured the takedown. Good jujitsu fighter. Trains with a great camp. I know he's been working in Colorado with the uh, Henza Gracie black belt, Amal Easton. So I'm excited to see what Cody can do here on the ground. You now Joe does, does train up in uh, Wilmington with, uh, I think he's in Newark, Delaware, actually, 302 BJJ with the Migliorossi brothers. Yeah. And Joe, somebody wants to get back to stand up, though. And yeah, yeah. Those, uh... his, 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 his background is a striker, but he is well rounded. The guy does train jiu jitsu. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, he's here working half guard. Uh, you know, he's obviously uh, able to defend himself here because uh, Cody's no slouch on the ground. And, and right now, Joe's doing a good job tying him up. Now, Cody's going to have to. Yep, there it is. Dan stands him up. Yeah. If you're not going to do something with your top position, the ref's going to stand you up. Touch gloves. Nice tie kick by Joe. Nice, Cody, with the, with the combination. Another jab by Cody. Cody looks solid. Yeah, these guys are both nice flurry. Cody back straight up, allowing Joe to keep firing punches. Another good Got takedown down. by Cody. Working well from the clinch. Already passed the guard, working the cross side. Joe again here, working to defend. He needs to get himself out of here. Wants to get himself back to his feet. And what does Joe need to do here? Uh, honestly, if what he should be doing is trying to turn and face his opponent and put him back in guard. By turning away, he's allowing Cody to do exactly what he just did. If not take his back, he's allowing him to work to mount. Once Cody gets his foot out, he's going to be in full mount. Yeah. He's in a real good spot here. Cody's a smart fighter. He's not rushing anything, taking his time. He's going to start hitting Joe. He's going to soften him up. You know, like most of the jiu-jitsu guys, if you're, when you transition to mixed martial arts, you have to incorporate your strikes with your jiu-jitsu. A lot of times your strikes are what's going to open the submissions for you. You can't just force it. You have sweat here. Okay, here we go. Nice full mount full now mount by out. Cody. Nice trend. Back up. Good for Joe. Use the fence to get himself out of there. Cody's throwing nice straight punches here. Another good tie kick by Joe. Cody looks very comfortable standing up though. Yeah, he's nice and relaxed. Like he's not throwing big looping punches like most MMA guys right. do. Yeah, I'd like to see him keep his hands up just a little bit more, but he's, he's throwing nice straight punches. He's not crossing his feet. He's, yeah. he's looking good. Yeah, he's good. Nice spinning back kick by Joe Stripling. Very risky, though. Yeah, very risky, and wound up getting him in, stuck in uh, on the bottom here because it gave Cody a free opportunity for a takedown. If you throw any kind of a spinning kick or high kick like that, you put yourself in a bad spot if you don't land it. That little blood coming from Joe's nose. Cody in full guard now working his ground and pound. Joe rat coming up high. He's looking to attack right now. Anytime you see the legs walking up the back, this guy's looking to be offensive. Cody settling back, getting the legs open. He's starting to hammer him. He's hammering pretty hard now. Nice ground and pound by Cody. Joe here, if he can, has an opportunity to up kick. Since Cody's standing, Cody's doing a great job. You see him putting his hips forward. Yep. He's keeping those hips forward so that uh, he keeps his head out of danger. He's landing some shots, though. Yeah, he's definitely he's damaging this guy. He's hurting Joe. 
Bucks winning this round without a doubt. And Joe's still working to defend. Joe's ground game scrappy, you know. Oh, nice elbow. That arm bar. Arm bar oh, attempt by Cody. I think this fence may stop him from being able to extend the arm. And, uh, nice. Good exchange there. Who are you giving that one to, John? Uh, Cody's going to have to get that round. Several takedown attempts. Here's the crazy spinning back kick Joe went for. Way off the mark. Yeah. He hit him with his cap. Put himself on the ground. Gave Cody full opportunity to start hammering him. And uh, this is much of how the first round went, so I have to give that round to Cody. I agree. We are in the corner. Cody looks ready to go. Not breathing heavy at all. Joe taking in a little bit of water. Now it's time to go. Up top. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Joe's corner ass, you know, pleading with him to let his hands go. Nice takedown again by Cody. He doesn't want to be on right, the ground. He keeps going back. Right to mount. It's not a good spot for uh, for Joe right now. I expect to see him want to do a lot more stand up, a lot yeah. more trading of blows. Yeah, I would absolutely thought so myself. He used the cage last time Cody's mounted to get out, and it works for him again. Yeah. Well, let's we'll see if he'll come down in the Cody's world or if he wants if he's gonna stand up. Oh, Ooh. nice uppercut. Poor Cody, poor choice there for Cody. Nice low kick again. This is what I expected to see. Yeah, Joe, no, yeah. We'll Goes for the one. uppercut again. Uppercut but off the mark. Joe Stripling pummeling inside here. Doing a good job defending that takedown. Knee kick. Cody's working some knees. Elbow by Joe. These guys are, guys, it's a, I mean, it's a good, nice pace match. Well-rounded match, too. A lot of everything. You always want to get a lot of position. Oh, oh, nice knee kick. Nice oh, he tapped him. Tapped him. Good Lord. Needed a liver and a solar plexus. Oh. Doesn't look like that agreed too well. You actually physically heard Joe, I mean, basically yelp yeah. when he see. got hit Simon's by that knee. When that knee hit. And here it is. Bam. Nice knee. I don't want to get hit by that knee, and I'm sure Joe didn't appreciate it either. After one minute and 16 seconds in round two, the winner from tap out, Cody Donovan. Bass Rutten. Yeah, it's a, Boss is the man who loves the liver kick, so uh, the liver knee, I'm sure, is just as effective. He's tough, man. That was probably the hardest first round I ever had. Just intensity. He was just going, going, going. Uh, my mentor named Marcourt hit me with a knee to the liver a few months back and just about ended my life, so I just did the same thing right there.